Hello, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be playing The Walk. This one's a little special because I've been in contact with the developer Darkus for a few weeks now as they've been making the game, giving them suggestions on, you know, things that they wanted suggestions on. And in return, I'm pretty sure there's a reference to me in here. So that's cool. But uh, this one, I've been following this one on his Game Jolt page. He's a super passionate person who wants to make video games. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to play his game and we're going to kind of review it. I've seen good things on the, the game page for it. So I'm excited to get into it and see exactly what Darkest has cooked up. Let's get into it. It was late at night. I was driving on a secondary road to visit some friends who lived in a remote village far away from everything. I had been to this I had been to his house a few times in the past, and the route was very tiring. I was already very tired of driving when I was passing through a tunnel and heard a loud noise coming from inside my car. Seconds later, smoke started coming out of the front of the car. I got out of the tunnel and pulled to the side of the road to see what had happened to the car. After looking for a while to see what had happened, I realized that the engine had suffered severe damage and that I would not be able to continue driving. I thought, what bad luck I have had. What bad luck I have had. I will be late to my friend's house, when I realized that I was in the town very close to my friend's house. I decided to look for a place to sleep tonight in this town called Nominal Town. Very normal name for a town, nothing spooky going on here. It's just Nominal Town, you know? Is this a note? I need a flashlight as soon as possible. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I'm assuming this is my car. Nice. Got another note in the trunk. Find a place to stay overnight. Um, I will take that. Press F to turn it on. Damn, I wasn't kidding. There is severe damage up in this bitch. Alright, where am I going to sleep? I wonder if this guy up here will let me bum around in his house. Dude, he's jacked. Look at how huge his shoulders are. What a beast. Blind man. Hello, stranger. What are you doing so late at night on the street? Uh, I'm... I guess this is the reference. I asked if there could be a blind guy in the game, so we're meeting him already. That's cool as fuck. He's just he's blind standing in in the sidewalk middle of the night doing nothing, jacked as hell. Hi, my name is Matt. I just had a breakdown on my car. Oh, that sounds really bad. By the way, my name is Cooper. Yes. That's my name. Thank you very much, Darkus. Appreciate the, the reference. It's really cool of you. Nice to meet you, Cooper. Do you know if by any chance there is a motel I can stay at tonight? Hmm. I'm sorry to tell you that there is no motels in this town, as it is very small. Ah. I'll have to keep walking, then. May I ask where you want to go? I was on my way to a friend's house at the end of town. Hmm, strange. I think your friends are fooling you. Oh, shit. Why is he saying that? Why do you say that? At the end of this town, there is nothing. What? I had already been to my friend's house several times before. Son, I don't know if it's because you're tired or what, but at the end of this town, there is nothing. I'm telling you that there is. Well, as you wish... If you want, you can stay at my house overnight. Damn, Cooper's a cool dude. No thanks, I don't want to be late with my friends. As you wish, son. Be very careful around here, there are a lot of crazy people. Thanks for the advice, Cooper. Bye. Goodbye. Dang, what a chill, 
What a chill dude he is. He even offered to let me stay in his humble abode. But I got shit to do. Uh, that was nothing. That was completely normal. Sometimes bushes rustle in the middle of the night for no reason. Darkest Mart. I like it. Nice, it's open. Dude, the cobblestone vibe? Darwin. Welcome to my store, stranger. Hi. I saw this store open and got a little hungry. Here you have a wide selection of things to eat and drink. Thank you. I will take a look at it. When you're finished, come back to pay. Understood. Hmm. And he's got jams going on. Uh, this is a snack? Looks like cereal. I guess I'll buy this. That's all you need? Yes. These cereals will take away my hunger. Very true. By the way, where are you heading so late at night? I'm going to a friend's house at the end of town. Walking? Yep, car broke down, unfortunately. How unlucky. Yeah, I know. You said you were going to your friend's house at the end of this town? Yeah, why? At the end of this town, there is nothing. Oh, Jesus. Here we go again. You are the second person to tell me the same thing today. I didn't know... I didn't know what you're getting at, but I'm warning you that nobody has dared to go to the end of town for a few years now, kid. And why is that? It is believed that five years ago a demon possessed a man who lived in a house hidden in the forest. But that's just a legend, right? Well, no idea, but nobody dares to go to the end of this village in case something happens to them. Well, I don't think anything will happen. It will just be stories to scare children. Well, a year ago, a girl decided to go investigate and was never seen again. That's scary, but I don't think it was because of something demonic. I'll go on my way. As you wish, but be careful out there. There's a lot of crazy people in town, especially now that it's nighttime. Thank you very much. How much do I owe you for the cereal? It would be four dollars. Here you go, have a nice night. Thank you, you too. Cool, that's my cereal. I want it. Look at the little snowman. He's so cute. Can I take him? Nope. I wanted him. Oh my fucking... Jesus Christ. From this point in the village, there are no more street lamps on the streets. Why could that be? I don't know. I just got the bejesus scared out of me. I wonder if I could hijack this dude's car. Let me in! Let me in! There's a video camera inside this car. I want to steal it. Shit, the flashlight ran out of batteries. I need that camera. Dude, I love being a thief. Use F to turn on the camera. Nice. And on I go. Just leave the door wide open. Like nothing ever happened. A trash can. Oh my, why? That's not even scary. Why the fuck is it doing that to me? Garbage should be dumped here by all neighbors. That's so true. I agree with that trash can. Uh, is this just a person? Hello, lady? Are you okay? Oh my god, move! Damn, bitch! Oh, she ain't dead. Everything was alive from the beginning.
That blind man warned me about this. Also, that man in the store. What I have just witnessed is that girl who was never seen again. Thanks to the blind man who ran over the demon. I'll be fine now, right? Oh, damn. The, <laughs> the blind dude jumped in the whip and ran her down? Right, isn't it? Oh, hell yeah. What better way to end this story than to run over a missing girl with a car that a blind man is driving? Truly a wonderful story. I loved every second of it. Well, that's the end of the game. Thank you for watching. Thank you to Darkus for including me in on this project. Even though, you know, I didn't play a huge role. I gave advice where I could. I tried to be as helpful as I could. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to the game page for this. It's completely free. Uh, I do believe they have donations available if you want to do that. Uh, I'm not being paid by him to advertise this or something like that. Uh, they just genuinely asked for my help and I wanted to do so. So if you have some spare time and want to go check out his game or if you want to donate so that he can make more stuff in the future, that'd be cool too. Don't have to, it's just an option. But uh, once again, thank you Darkus for allowing me to help in even a small way and I appreciate it. I hope to help out with more games in the future. Uh, I'm not like looking specifically for like voice acting work or storyboarding assistance or anything like that, but if uh, people are willing to reach out to me and ask for help with their stuff, I would be more than willing to give my two cents or to do things like voice acting here or there or, you know. I'll do anything to get in a horror game is what I'm trying to say. I'll do, I'm begging you, please. <laughs> uh, anyways, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.